this says turn right then go right turn where you see the bulldog the bulldog is that a live bulldog <sighs> this is hopeless Keep an open mind. Open mind. Grandma, Grandma, th this is Sue, the lady that I was telling you about from, from the space program. Who are you? I'm Hank, I'm your grandson. This is Charlie, your other grandson. Hey, Grandma. We're just, we're doing a little meeting in this room. So, so what do you say we get you back in that kitchen and you finish that sandwich, okay? Come on, how about that? Henry! I can't find my socks. Grandma, my name's Hank, and your socks are on your feet, okay? So come on, let, let's get back to that sandwich, okay? Come on. Mwah. Love you. <laughs> Grandma's, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm here because the two of you have been selected by the committee. We've been selected. If you could just let me finish. finish I Mr. told Dasher. you they were going to pick us, man. Please, you try. Mr. Dasher, if I could just continue. Uh, the two of you have been selected to participate in our pre-screening process. Screen, screening's good, right? So you've made it past level one, which was essentially just a mail-in response. And now we'll be asking you to participate in some intellectual and physical tests. Um, I need you to be honest with me for one second. Uh, are we going to space? That has yet to be determined. Sue, is it? Yes. See, what my idiotic brother here is so excited about is the fact that we've been practically planning our entire lives to fly a ship to space. I have collected every Star Wars ship every since one. I was like eight years old. <laughs> See, the, the selected candidates won't actually be flying the spacecraft. It's, it's mm. going to be manned remotely from Earth. Uh, but once you are in the orbit of the second moon, you will be asked to perform certain tasks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. What, what do you mean by remotely? Okay. Um, so, um, here are your instructions. You have 24 hours to respond. And if you'd like to proceed, then go ahead and call that number and give us the information that's on that form. So. You two follow the news, right? Yeah. Yeah, totally. I mean, yeah, we watched the game yeah, the other the night. Stocks have been up yeah, and down. Yeah. The president's yeah. talk was so, so good. So you're aware of the other spacecrafts that have attempted to enter the second orbit and the other inherent dangers with a mission like this. 
Well, I mean, uh, I would not pertain to saying that we are digressively inherent about anything, but we are in interested. Okay, um, we'll be in contact. We're going to the moon. <laughs> it's not our moon. But it's still the moon. <laughs> I'm going to meet Jar Jar Binks. Hank! Yeah? Are we dead yet? What? I said, are we dead yet? No! At least I don't think so. Okay. That's good. How are you guys doing? Good. We're doing great. The vibrations you're currently experiencing are normal and will halt in about four seconds. Yeah, um, I was going to ask about that. The shaking seems rather noticeable. so bad. The worst of it's over. You're doing great. We still have the hard part ahead of us. Okay, guys. You're gonna feel a slight jolt in a second when we release the external tank. Copy that. Hank? Yeah? I'm having a bit of a uh, situation. What's up? to use the little boy's room. Now? Yeah, right now. I told you to go before we boarded, you didn't go? In about 10 minutes, we're going to fire the phase two OMS rockets and you'll start the second part of the trip. When you reach a stable position in the new moon's orbit, you'll be able to get out of your flight seats. Until then, stay put in case we encounter something unexpected. I do understand what you're saying, but clearly, if you just look at the data, you can We've see... looked at the data, and I've tried to explain it to... <clears throat> Mr. Al, Miss Williams, I have been told that you are two of the most brilliant minds in the world. You have been invited because I have a proposal I would like to discuss with you. Before we waste any more time, could you please tell us why you feel that you're going to be able to do something that nobody else in the world has been able to do? First of all, let's be clear. No one's holding you against your will. You are free to go if you choose to do so. We just hoped that you had the same goal we did, to save the world. Allow me to introduce our honored guest. This is Captain Edward Kratz. The Captain Kratz, the one aboard the U.S. Firebird. Yes, ma'am. But, but that ship was lost. Everyone aboard that ship was lost. Obviously not all the information has reached the public. For the next few hours, Captain Kratz is going to share his top secret information about the NASA mission. What I'd like from you is to set aside your doubts and imagine that buried amongst all this chaos is a solution. All we have to do is find it. Charlie, would you sit still? You're not even out of the stratosphere yet and you're driving me crazy. Hank, I can't hold it anymore. Just chill out. I have to go, right now. What am I supposed to do, just sit here by myself? This is just great. What if I think of something funny to say?
We experienced engine failure before we made the second jump, and once the firing system was back online, the decision was to continue. Then about 45 seconds before we initiated the second burn, I received an encrypted message instructing me to get myself and my crew to the escape pod and jettison the ship immediately. So none of the ships have ever made it past the second orbit? That is correct. Well, not yet. But now that we know the truth, we can address the real issue. And what we need from you is to design a propulsion system that can push past the first orbit and take into account the gravitational pull from the new moon. Even if we were capable of designing such a system, who would we find to man the ship? Given the past history, they'd have to be a complete idiot. Thank you. Thanks, everyone, for coming out. Uh, you've been great. Um, so, I mean, what's up with airplane food? Am I right? <laughs> Shake it off. Hoo-hoo. Mr. President, the documents are here. I'm not the president. You're an alien. What? I need one million dollars on my desk by Monday. Bow. Bow. Bidi -dum -bow. Shake it off. Okay, in about two minutes, we're going to fire the phase two OMS rockets, and you'll start the second part of the trip. Um, uh... Copy that. Um, attention, Gold Leader. We are not currently operational. We are currently uh, one issue. Uh, Charlie is minus this room. Um, we request um, an extension of time before pre-launch sequence, please. Charlie, we're taking off. Get back here. 